did you eat for breakfast? Chances are you didn't think it was this. In the UK, we eat a whole hanger of plastic every single month. Every single month. Doesn't do it for me. It's no secret now that plastic particles have made their way into the food chain and therefore into your body. I don't know which ones are the top offenders. Let's get into it. Fruits and vegetables, yay. In 2020, Italian research has discovered that apples and carrots were some of the worst contaminated fruit and veg out there. This happens because plants suck up moisture from the soil and that can often include microplastics. Salt, particularly table salt, 90% of all brands globally now have microplastics. Sea salt obviously has the highest concentration, followed by lake, then followed by rock. Nothing is sacred, nothing. Crustaceans, shellfish, probably one of the worst because they are absorbing and filtering water from the sea and the microplastics then lodge in their guts and things like that, which you eat in its entirety. So shellfish, no good. Unfortunately, farmed fish too are often fed just bags of grain, which can also contain microplastics. So you're getting the theme here. This one is probably the most devastating. And I didn't know this, but rice contains a lot of microplastics. Although if you get microwave rice, that contains four times as much plastic as normal rice. Pro tip, if you do get rice in a bag, just rinse it. It removes between 20 and 40% of the microplastics and then cook it yourself. Don't buy the microwavable bags. This one is probably the saddest one, but honey from bees contains microplastics. This isn't just from the pollen, but this is also from them flying through the air and picking up airborne plastic particles. There's a lot of plastic in our air. It mainly comes from car tires. Both bees in the city and in the 